Hey guys, welcome back to your Oracle SQL tutorial series, and I have a story for you. Well, I have been planning these videos for quite a while now, and I have been planning to record them tonight, and my family decides to watch a movie. So if you hear a bunch of people having fun in the background without me, uh, I apologize. <laughs> but it's, it's okay, I'm, I'm not bitter or anything. Well, uh, let's get started. This video is going to be about creating tables. And the way we do that is we use the create table command. Create table. After the table keyword, we give the table a name. So we're going to say users, because we're going to create a table where we can store people's names, usernames, and all of that good stuff. After this, you put parentheses. Inside of these parentheses is where you're going to put all of the columns that we want inside of this table. The columns are just the headers, so the, the first name would be a column and so forth. So the way my brain works is I like to do things in sections. So rather than doing one column at a time, I kind of do the, the name as a group, and then I do the data type as a group, and so forth. So what I'm going to do is just put all of the columns we hope to store in this table, and we're just going to give them a name. So the first thing I would say is a user ID. This is going to be the primary key once we get that far. And then on the next line, I will give the person a username. Following that, I will put first name, and last name. Now this is not valid as is, but I did it this way so that way I know exactly what columns I need to put in this table. But we're not done because every single column needs a data type. Data types are basically the kind of data that we store inside of this column. And there's a bunch of different data types and it's a very extensive topic, but for this video we're just going to focus on two very important data types that we're going to need to know to start working with Oracle. The first one is number. Number is often used for primary keys and generated numbers. The next data type is what's known as varchar, and that stands for variable character, I believe. Basically, it means a sequence of characters that varies in length. So, if I go down here and make a comment, within here I could put a string, such as Caleb Curry. I could make that my username. And I could also make it Caleb Curry, or Caleb Curry. It, the length varies. But what we do need to do is tell Oracle a max. So to do that, let me get rid of this, come up here, and within parentheses, we can say how long we want to allow the string to be. So we'll put 50 in there. And we're also going to do that for the rest of them. Now, there's something weird about this data type, and that it actually ends in a 2. So you got to remember to put a 2 after the data type name. You may be able to work with var char without the 2, but from what I've read, it's really recommended that you use the 2. And if you want to do some more research on that, I would encourage that. Now, I have a question for you guys. What does this 50 mean? Yes, I know it means how long the string can be, but 50 what? Is that 50 words? 50 characters? 50 bytes? Well, that's something we should actually tell Oracle. So after the 50... I'm going to say char, which means 50 characters. So that includes anything from a space to a letter to a number. In this situation, we would have one, two, three, four characters. If you don't specify char there, it actually defaults to bytes. And a character can take up multiple bytes. So I always like to use char. We're going to add those into the other ones too. Now you can see we're getting some kind of error here. And the reason that is, is because when we have multiple columns, we have to tell Oracle where the different columns are separated. And the way we do that is with a comma. So when you put a comma, you're telling Oracle, I'm going to give you another column. So we do that for all of the columns, except the last one, because the last one doesn't have a column coming after it. This here is a very good start, but it's really missing a lot of information. For example, how do we tell Oracle which column we want to be the primary key? What if we want to give it some indexes? There's just a lot of things missing in this create table statement. That being said, I don't want to overwhelm you guys with a bunch of new information all in one video. So we're going to break all that information up over a couple videos and just continually add to this and make our database bigger. One thing that you really need to try to take away from this video is to remember that the varchar data type ends in a 2. I know, it's stupid. Why would they end it in a 2? I don't know. Just a random 2. It's so dumb. 
Well, thanks guys. Once again, this is Caleb from Caleb the Video Maker 2. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.